Welcome to this week's Sevier County Sports Show. I'm your host, Roddy Woods, and when we come back, we're going to visit all four high schools right here in Sevier County, and a lot more, because Ashley's with us, and she's got some interviews, too. So make sure you keep it tuned right here on Charter Main Street, Channel 16, for the Sevier County Sports Show, right after this. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Have it your way at Zippy's Express Car Wash. Car cleaning to fit your lifestyle. Zippy's In-N-Out Express has washes starting at only $5. That's right, $5. Drive in and three minutes later, you have a clean vehicle. Zippy's Car Wash has a variety of washes to fit your budget. Bumper to bumper, we get it clean. And we have free vacuums. Stop in at Zippy's Car Wash today. 994 Parkway in Sevierville. Zippy's Car Wash, a proud sponsor of the Sevier County Sports Show. At Volunteer Chevrolet, we guarantee to be anyone's deal on a new 2013 Chevrolet. Take advantage of our year-end clearance. Get a great deal on a 2013 Equinox. We have a large selection of the all-new 2014 Silverados. And come take a look at the all-new 2014 Impalas at Volunteer Chevrolet in Sevierville, your local hometown dealership. And remember, we'll be anyone's deal on a new 2013 Chevrolet. Lee's Total Health Pharmacy has two locations to better serve you. Our 725 Parkway location offers a full-service pharmacy with a large selection of quality home medical equipment, from sports braces to wheelchairs, and a stock variety selection of home care products to assist you daily. Health education classes and a take-charge weight program are available. Lee's Total Health Pharmacy at 1024 Middle Creek features a compound lab providing medication in the form of pain creams, hormone replacement, and much more. Lee's Total Health Pharmacy. We specialize in your good health. As the oldest, most experienced independent insurance company in Sevier County, Birchfield, Overbay and Associates has been delivering superior insurance products and solutions since 1919. We are a full-service insurance company that's passionate about safeguarding the standard of living for our friends, neighbors, and community business owners. If you want to protect your life's biggest investments with some of the best agents in the region, call Birchfield, Overbay and Associates today. I remember when I used to have that much energy. Man, when I was at Fort Bragg, I used to be the fastest in a mile. Yeah, but between the arthritis and too many birthdays, that ain't happening anymore. Right about that. That used to be me before I started drinking hydrate alkaline water. I might try it. Thank you, ma'am. Well, I think we need to uh, get on this. Oh, yeah. Now available in these sizes at Walgreens, Earth Fair, Kroger, Eddie's Health Shop, and other natural and grocery outlets. Welcome to the first inning of the Sevier County Sports Show. We're at Pigeon Forge High School. No play for these guys tonight because it's raining like crazy. But I want to talk to Coach. We're with Coach Gwynn. He's the head coach here at Pigeon Forge High School, home of the Tigers. Defending state champions. i got to throw that in there because they've got that target on their back and they'll have it on there all year long. Coach, you had a, a, a hosted a tournament last weekend. All four schools in Sevier County were part of that. Tell us how you fared here at your, your field. Well, we were battling the weather first thing. All four schools did a great job of getting their fields ready and being able to play. So we were real tickled with that. We got to play uh, Sequoia, who at the time and still are undefeated, and they beat us 2-1 to one in a really good ball game. Uh, we ended up beating John Battle. They brought in the number one guy, a good college prospect, throws the ball good, mid-80s, and we were able to settle in and swing the bats in spots pretty good and beat them six to nothing and then we faced another team's number one uh, anderson county rolled up the very next game played double header and 87 to 89 kid was throwing it real well spotted his fastball well and we jumped on him for nothing and just were young in spots and we made some mistakes and lost the game eight to four so you know tough week for us 
uh, in that tournament. Uh, but we're playing good teams and seeing good pitching, so that's going to be a value on down the line. Well, when we were here last week, you had just lost that Sequoia game. And sounds like your team, you know, you were kind of thinking about, you know, they're young, where are they going to bounce back? And it sounds like they did against John Battle. They did, and they played well for the most part against Harris County. Just a couple of bad innings, you know, defensively. But overall, we played well. I think we got a lot out of that tournament just because we saw such good pitching. We were fortunate. Right now, I mean, we've always had the respect to people. We always get good pitching, and we sure have seen it this year so far. Everybody's bringing their best guy against us, which will only make us better in the end. So we're happy about that. And, and it's like I was talking about you being state champion. Coach, every time you're out on the field, you're going to see the best from everybody, aren't you? Oh, there's no doubt. And uh, that's why we're trying to make our kids understand when we touch that field, we've got to be ready to play. Uh, it should be the way regardless, but we just have to be aware that you know, there's a lot, been a lot of pride and tradition at this school in baseball, and not just for, from last year, but over the years and uh, since the school started. So just a lot of people uh, use this game as a measuring stick when they play us. So we have to come ready to play. Pigeon Forge Tigers. Coach, let's talk about – I don't want to jump off the subject of baseball right now. Let's talk about Coach. What's Coach like to do when he's not out here in the baseball field? Gosh, I don't know. It's like that's all I do. So <laughs> – it's hard to remember sometimes. I like to be at home, my family, and relax and uh, spend time with my wife, Kim, and my sons, Alex, Aaron, and Adam, and uh, just uh, go watch Alex run track and, and whatever endeavors he's involved in. I like to fish a little bit. Used to play golf, got away from that. But, no, I'm around baseball a lot, so it seems like most of my time is tied into that right now. We were talking to Coach Norton down at Seymour last week, and he was laughing about something. And I told him I was going to tease you. His players come dressed for success in every interview. And I said, I'm going to ask Coach, did, did he talk to you last week? No, no. He might have tried to call, but I haven't talked to Scott, no. He's a good guy. We talked about a little bit of things with Scott about, about his baseball endeavors. Did you ever have a chance to go and play in, in the minor leagues or go on to the next level? No, actually, no. I didn't play baseball uh, uh, after the junior high school level. I played tennis in high school. Uh, played a lot of travel softball in my 20s and I always been around the game but no I was a uh, I was a uh, what you would call the consummate role player uh, okay consummate role player I graduated high school with Scott so uh, Scott <laughs> yeah. Scott's a good friend of mine he played uh, he was an excellent pitcher he probably know I know his career very well because we were good friends growing up I played against him in little league and junior high with and against <laughs> he, we, we, we kind of rag each other when we're down there I tell him about things he says yeah I know him I know him well but when we come back here on the Sevier County Sports Show we're going to catch up with coach they had a big big district game Monday and Tuesday against Gatlinburg Pittman we want to find out how they did and we'll know what's going on here this week and see what's going on next week here at Pigeon Forward so make sure you stay tuned for more of the Sevier County Sports Show right here on Charter Main Street Channel 16 Hi everyone, this is Ashley Blevins here from the Sevier County Sports Show. Today we are at the Pigeon Forge High School home with the Tigers and I have Mr. John Griffiths here with me. He is the tennis coach for the boys and the girls. Got your hands full with both. Absolutely. How are you doing today, John? Doing great, except for a rainy day. I know, it is pretty rainy. It looked pretty cloudy on our way over here. Pretty bad. Um, so you guys are doing really well. Boys are six and zero right now. Yes. Girls are five and one. Great season. You guys just played Grace the other day. You played uh, who was Sevier, Sevier County, County. Yes. won that game. Sevier County. Uh, right. Let's talk about Sevier County first. Okay. Tell us a little bit about that game. Sevier County, of course, we we like to play everybody in the county because it's just really good rivalries, and we uh, know all the coaches really well, and and a lot of their players, and. Uh, uh, you know, very very competitive. It's usually a back and forth game. We we were fortunate this year uh, uh, to be able to sweep them. Uh, boys uh, won it eight to one, and the girls was very close, five four. So it comes down basically to the last match uh, side of that one. But uh, but he's got some good players. He's got a, a great number one. Uh, but we we've got some really strong players ourselves. So we feel real good about that. Great start for us. So uh, who are some of your key players right now on, on the boys team? Okay, uh, of course Garrett Bird is my number one. He's a senior. I've had Garrett's been a starter for me since his freshman year and uh, Garrett will uh, uh, sometime this month be signing with uh, Lee University to play oh. tennis. 
Uh, he's a very good player, very steady. He's a good, really good anchor for us. It's important to have a good anchor at your number one. Uh, and number two, I've got a, a young man. It's a junior, Chad Gibson. Uh, he's really, really done well. I've had him since his freshman year. Uh, and he's really come on to take the number two spot. And I've got two freshmen in the middle of my lineup, uh, Daniel Delosier and Ethan Williams. And they're both very good players. And I think they're really going to give us good anchors uh, down the road. And then the, our, my, topping out my six are Kale Bramer. He's a senior that plays at five. And Vince Brackens is also a senior who plays at number six. So we've got a really solid boys team. Sounds like it. So now, Grace, let's talk about that game a little bit. Uh, tell us how that went down. Okay. Grace, of course, is a, is a huge district rival for us, and we've basically uh, uh, beat them for the district the last four years, uh, actually the last, uh, yeah, the last four years or three years in a row. Uh, really strong. They always have a really good boys program and a really good girls program. Their girls are, are, are phenomenal. Their girls have actually won the district for the last four years in a row, and uh, uh, we've been playing kind of catch up to them, but uh, the boys, uh, we did very well. Actually, it was a very close match. Uh, uh, went down to doubles. We had to win two out of the three doubles points, which we did. We won one and three uh, to win that district match, so that really gives us a leg up in the district. Uh, they're girls who are very strong. We had them all of them back, and they're a very young team still, uh, so they did really well. But our girls really competed. We start three first-year players this year, so my girls have, have really done well beyond our expectations. That's awesome. So now which what game is coming up next so everyone out there can come out and support you all? Great. Well, we go uh, Monday, we go to Union County. That'll be another district matchup for us. And, of course, all the district matches are very important. And then uh, Tuesday will be the biggie up at Gatlinburg. And uh, basically us and the Gatlinburg boys are maybe competing for the district this year. Uh, but that's always a great rivalry. And we try to do a home-and-home home with Gatlinburg. Uh, Coach Mason and I usually get along pretty well. So, uh, But that will be a big match, uh, you know, provided the weather provides it for us so so now john you've been at this a long time we were talking off camera 15 years you've yeah. been coaching the tennis so you, you know what you're doing <laughs> and you're the school a school counselor here at the school yes, um you guys actually you practice over here at the park uh, you yes. guys practice every day what's a typical practice like all the kids out there watching or maybe interested in wanting to join the team what they maybe some tips for them they're incoming freshmen about what they need to do if they want to join well of course the real key in tennis is to start as early as you possibly can uh, you know if you can get in a, a junior program or, or you know get with somebody who can help you and start as early as you possibly can uh, and kind of grow from there so you begin to learn the basics uh, but uh, we really really drill our, our kids hard uh, we do a lot and of course a lot of uh, running a lot of footwork drills uh, a lot of basic drills tennis is a, is a sport that you have to have a lot of repetition uh, you know you have to hit hundreds and I tell my kids thousands of balls and I always encourage them to play outside of practice uh, to do that, but uh, we've we've been fortunate over the last, and like you said, 15 years. I've kind of grown old with the team. Uh, uh, you know, we've we've developed a lot of a lot of kids, and uh, we try to take all comers because uh, it's a sport that you can play for a lifetime. So we really really like kids to learn the sports. So now, is uh, is there a phone number that they can call? Just maybe contact you. Maybe some of these upcoming freshmen that are interested. Sure. Uh, of course, our main school number is seven seven four five seven nine zero. They can even reach me uh, in my office at four five three one zero six eight if they'd like to know a little bit more about it. And, and uh, of course, we would welcome. We love we love uh, young players and new players that we can develop. Well, thank you so much, John. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for letting us interview you. Uh, this is Ashley Blevins with the Sevier County Sports Show.